A lot of people on YouTube have requested the cinder block for our Is It Bulletproof series, and so we're going to give you what you want. So the real question is, is will a cinder block stop a bullet? And if it does, we're not going to stop at just a 9. We're going from a 9, 40, 45, 223, all the way up to a 308. And you know for the big finale, we're going to go with the shotgun slug and blow this thing apart. So right off the bat, we're going to start with the 9mm full metal jacket through the cinder block. Keep in mind, we do have a water jug backstop just to give a vi little visual representation of whether or not we have a uh, punch through. Fire when ready. 40, Smith & Wesson. Fire when ready. We're gonna step up to a 45 ACP. Fire when ready. Moving up to a rifle round in the 223. Fire when ready. Moving on up to the 308. Fire one ready. We're going with the 12 gauge shotgun slug. Fire one ready. So, 12 gauge shotgun slug did not penetrate. In order to remedy this issue, we have three double op buck rounds in the 12 gauge shotgun. If the first does not penetrate, we will continue firing the other two. Fire when ready. Just to talk about a little bit about what happened here is the results. We've got the 9mm here. Didn't even break through. It's a 9mm full metal jacket. Pretty much got stuck right there. On the inside, if you can see that at all, there is a little bit of a, a dent on the inside. Just looks like the concussion of the bullet almost making it through blew the backside out. But there is absolutely no penetration. The entire bullet is right there. We're going to knock that out later and oh, right now. And... Uh, that's the whole bullet right there. It didn't make it through. Uh, moving on over here. This is the 40. Um, it broke apart afterwards when we tried to pick it up, but that's the 40. Uh, sorry, that's the 45 there. It uh, No, that's the 40. That's the 40. It didn't penetrate there. It came in there and cracked the other side, but didn't make it. And uh, 45, big hole, but didn't make it through. I just made it bigger. But no penetration on the 45 either. Let me go ahead and take this camera from... Uh, from Mike here and he'll talk a little bit about the rifle rounds. Now, the beautiful thing is, first we started off with the 223. So you're gonna notice, once again, small hole. We even get a big blow through out here on the back. But on the inside, all we get's a little dent. So, you know, not too much. We didn't get penetration with that. With the 308, now the first one crumbled, so we don't have that 308 to show you. But the second one, where we went ahead and laid it flat, you'll notice that we blew through two sides of it. And then once we got to the third, it went ahead and just crumbled. You can see a little bit of where that uh, that dust came across. But uh, we had two layers of penetration. The third one was good. So I guess in this case, if you were on a wall laid sideways, you might be safe.
that it is bulletproof to an extent with some calibers. But we definitely don't recommend hiding behind a cinder block wall to stop bullets. But we do recommend watching videos. So check out some of our other videos like this one or that one or that one. Or go ahead and subscribe to the Train ASDI channel right here.